Welcome back. So next up for us is Lucille. And sent. <sighs> We're finally done. I'm exhausted. At least we were praised. It pays to take our work seriously. Anyway, let's get out of here. I knew you were eager to see all the festival preparations, Mai. Yeah, let's go. Excuse me. A moment of your time? Can we help you? Roddy, we're leaving. Don't engage. Being on high alert, I treated the stranger who called out to us rather coldly. Um, I'm looking for someone. Her name is Shina Ninomiya. What? As we were about to leave, the words that came from the person made our feet stop. Shina was an outsider who recently came, and here was a woman we'd never seen searching for her. This could possibly be... Oh, this is where you guys were. I didn't see you at the dorm, so I thought... Wait, Lucille? Oh, it's you! Sheena! It really is you, Lucille! You made it! Sheena, having arrived at perfect timing, hugged the woman named Lucille, as they both expressed happiness. Sheena, who's this? Oh, sorry, Mai. Remember how I sent a text a while back? This is who I sent it to. That's great! Nice! Glad you could make it. Wait, you came from out of town? If that is the case, it means that she was able to enter from the outside, right? That's true. Maybe the wall is an optical illusion, only visible to those inside the AR. From the outside, there is no wall, which is why you entered normally, right? When thought of that way, it may not have been some special power that allowed the Black Clove people to come through the wall. So, these are the girls I mentioned in my text. I'm Svetlana Amil. I came to see Sheena, so here I am. Svetlana? Who's Lucille, then? That is also my name. Lucille was her name in an online game, Mai. Is that so? I'm Mai Toyama. I'm Rotten Dollheart, but everyone called me Roddy. I'd love to hear all about the outside. I'm Liliana Panada. Pleased to make your acquaintance. They're all so precious. Don't you think, Sheena? Of course I do. But I'm glad you agree, Lucille. Oops. I should call you Svetlana instead of Lucille. Either or. Whatever's easier. So, are you in danger, Sheena? Yes. Things are dire here. It's honestly a miracle I was able to reach you. Svetlana, it's not safe to talk out here, so could you join me at my house? Sheena glanced around to check her surroundings. It would be best that the Black Clove people knew of our movements as little as possible. Sure, I understand. There's a lot to explain. My, I know you know, but don't tell anyone about Svetlana. Say no more. It's our little secret. I won't even say I met you here. Call us model students! I only came to clean the church, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Even though you only wanted to clean to see the festival preparations. Ugh, there's nothing wrong with sneaking a peek in the shopping district. Well, I do think we should head back. A peek might be nice. If you take too many detours, you might draw suspicion. So be careful, okay? We'll be careful. We won't stay out of our rooms for too long. That's for the best. We have some catching up to do. If we find anything, I'll notify you right away. Looking forward to it. See you later. We saw Sheena and her friend off, and we decided to head back to our room. Hey Mai, I'm thirsty. Let's drop by that cafe. No way. Ah, you scared me. Why? Because it's noisy. I just don't like those places. There's delicious drinks and snacks. There's snacks? Liliana, you're too close. I'm sorry. Sorati, what kind of snacks are there? I'd say cookies and cakes, and delicious juices, and... That's wonderful. My, let's go. Fine. Why? Tony didn't want to go when I said so. My, 
Let's hurry and go. Okay, okay, don't rush me. Eh? Why are you ignoring me? Am I? Oh. So it's Lana, was it? I didn't expect to find you here. Yeah, I like this cafe. Would you like to join me? Sure. Come on, Mai. Let's sit down and have some snacks. Gosh, fine. Setlana was having tea on her own. And there was a lot of tea, a cake stand, and scones in front of her. Sorry, scones. Look at the amount. Do you eat a lot, Svetlana? No, I was just nodding to her what the clerk was saying, and so much came out. Wow. Look at all these delicious snacks. I feel like we're in a jewelry store. You want to eat this with me? Can we? Sure. I can't eat this all on my own. Then I'll take you up on your offer. Nom. Mmm. It's from Gormier. Liana, don't be so greedy. Look, you've got some cream on your face. Let me wipe it for you. I'm sorry. My, my. Uh, look at my cheeks. Do it yourself. Huh? <laughs> you three are so close. You think so? When I was in a facility in my country, kids avoided me because of my wishy-washy personality. It's not your fault. I'm sure your environment sucked. Can't control that kind of stuff. It's pure luck. See, I have bad luck and I'm stuck with Rotty, who won't leave me alone. I'm so not annoying. I just love you so much, Mai. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. And they're such good girls. Hope you guys stay friends forever. Yes. Rotty immediately grabbed onto my neck. It was annoying, but we enjoyed tea time together. Oh yeah, Miss Svetlana. Your outfit when you came out of Mai's magic box. It's so unique. <laughs> magic box, okay. Magic box? She's talking about the PC. Yes, Iris. Your appearance is linked to something out of World's Odyssey. Your name was Lucille, was it? Yeah, Arata told me about it. That's how you looked in World's Odyssey. Arata mentioned something about the future and the past. I am dumb, so I don't really get it. Arata Mizunashi again. Seriously, who is he? Sorry. Uh, oh, it's, it's not something for you to b apologize over. Totally. Did nothing wrong. Come to think of it. Your looks, uh, Vitar, was it? You mean Avatar. Yeah. So your avatar is always sitting down, Miss Svetlana. Well, why is that the case? Hera told me that my setting was that I can't get out of my chair. Supposedly the chair's my father, named Kimata. Why is your father a chair? Hera told me so. I have no idea. No fair, I want to be my chair too. Then we can be together forever. I can feel her warmth. You idiot. Oh, man. That stings when you put it so simply. What's the matter, Miss Svetlana? I think I drank too much tea. I'm going to go pee. Oh. Lucia's avatar displayed and the real Svetlana started to shine. Huh? Did I swap bodies? Whimper. What's the matter, Miss Svetlana? I want to go to the bathroom, but I can't get out of my chair. Like the chair speaking now. Don't worry, daughter. Your chair is talking? He really is your father. I won't make it. Oh no. Uh, did you have to pee? Why don't you just do it while sitting on Kimata? I don't want to. Are there only children here? Oh, Kimata is saying something. Fear not, daughter. I am a tree. I can absorb it. You're a tree? So do what you usually do. Just come at me. I don't want to even more. What do you mean any time? Uh, oh dear. Why do they make ping sound magical? It's very strange. I'm so glad you were able to turn back. What was that all about? Miss Vetlana, don't be embarrassed. It's all in the past. T totally. Lucky Mr. Kimata absorbed it all. Yeah, and you changed everything, so it's all good. I don't see anything. I want to go home. Um, I'm weird, aren't I? 
That's why everyone avoids me. People hated me. Lucille, I, I mean, Miss Svetlana. You're not weird at all, I mean it. You fought so hard despite your horrible situation. You're not weird at all. Rather, there's no one else I can trust as much. Oh, wait. You don't know about this, huh? Sorry, never mind, forget it. Everyone has a personality. Some people may jeer you. But personality is a charm that others don't have. The fact that you're unique is an important status that won't make you compete with others. Gosh, I suck at this. I'm no good at praising others. I keep using terms relating to my profession. Huh? Are you... praising me? Yeah, uh, Well, whatever. Let's just be simple, Svetlana. What? Be my friend. A few minutes later, Rotty, Liliana, and I had arrived at the back alley we were called to. You're here. <laughs> Miss Svetlana, it's terrible. I hate to say it, but Sheena's... I already heard what happened. <laughs> My heart's so broken. Huh? <laughs> But, there's something I want you to see. See? Sheena sent me a video last night while they killed her. Sadly, I only got it this morning. Because of the signal, I assume. Uh. She turned the smartphone screen towards us. If only I could have helped. <laughs> Can you hear me? It's Sheena. I stumbled upon something terrible. I found a room containing secrets about Les Shawara and Wordsworth. I'm being pursued by all strain believers. The people in black, so I'm hiding. They might kill me. Please, if you see this video, please don't mind the others. That headmistress Midra is a murderer. <sighs> Wordsworth isn't protecting the orphans. They create them, and they corral them. I have no idea why, but... Look! Plastered all over the walls are girls who attended Wordsworth, and pictures of their families. Also, new scraps of their families dying in so-called house fires, the tragic accidents, and how they became orphans. They have a failed section on the board, listing girls whose families they couldn't kill. It's a murder plot board. It's no accident the students had no living relatives. The dorm planned it all along and made them orphans. Every girl who died recently has an ex over their photo too. Why would they do this? No. No! Let me go! Let me! <laughs> what a shame, Shino Nino Mia. You can't keep a promise. I told you coming here would be a mistake. Now, you're a criminal. No! The only way to cleanse yourself of your sins is to make yourself an offering to our god. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Repent! No! No! Vulgar noises. Perfect for carnival, don't you think?
Roger had covered her ears while shaking, and Liliana held her head while crouching. My tears wouldn't stop. We'd all been destroyed by the gruesome footage of our friend being killed. Seriously, how can you make us watch that? Don't you think it upsets me too? <laughs> Clearly not enough to not show it to others, but alright. I'm not asking you to watch it again, but watch it till the end. Please. <laughs> Marbus, El Strain Marbus. It's one of those things that like, if I ever like properly meet Kaylee, I do want to ask her like, well, how did you do these noises in Death Ranch Request? It's so curious. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> what was it you heard? Major muttered something partway through. Yes, and at the end. Can you make out what she's saying? That word, wasn't it Barbus? She said Marbus, which I've heard people say around here. I don't know what it means. Me too. I fear what it may mean. It terrifies me. I'm beginning to think there's something big and sinister coming. Um, during the video, I heard a voice too. Something not of this world. Liliana interjected. While shivering all over. It was low, like a beast. I never want to hear it again. Understood. I shall review it. Thank you. Do you know where the headmistress is? <sighs> At the dorm? Why do you ask? It might be better for you to skip town. I'll arrest her and put an end to things at Wordsworth. Otherwise... Sheena suffered for nothing. Svetlana told us that she had borrowed a car and came to this town with the intention of using it to take Sheena back. The car I used is parked outside of town. Tomorrow we'll leave this town and take the headmistress with us. To avenge Sheena, we plan to take headmistress Midra outside the city and exact our retribution to the public. What I really wanted was to escape without the headmistress's notice. But leaving the dawn behind and all of our classmates made us feel complicit as the victims increased. Don't worry. Just in case, I won't mention you to the headmistress. I'll make sure she knows it's me who wants her head. Have this video as my ace. I'm heading to the headmistress's office now. To be safe, let's not talk anymore today. Meet tomorrow by the dorm entrance. Svetlana waved at us, then headed towards Wordsworth with a determined stride. Now, now, this area is off limits, okay? I could no longer stand still. I pushed through the crowd up to the headmistress's door, but headmaid Shizu stopped me. The adults are talking right now, okay? Just then, the door opened in front of me. Svetlana stormed out of the room with a resolute expression. That's all. I'll be on my way. How dare you threaten me? You think you could just waltz home? If I don't return within a week, have it so my friends will report it, and the police will launch an investigation here. The crimes have been documented. Prepare yourself. <clears throat> I'll let you turn yourself in so your students won't have to see you arrested. Do it for them. Think long and hard about what you've done. Tomorrow, I will pick you up. 
I'll give you one day to consider, but don't forget me. Svetlana calmly walked past the flustered Shizu. She glanced at the three of us, then shut her eyes as she walked off. Rahal and such. Inside the room, headmistress could be heard taking her great rage out on a desk. The maids hurriedly peeked inside. I can't believe she managed to corner the headmistress. Watching Svetlana march out of the dorm gave me some glimmer of hope. All right, we'll pack up too. We leave tomorrow. Make sure not to leave anything undone. The inn where Svetlana's staying is on the other side of the highway. She mentioned wanting to take the headmistress there. We should hide out and wait. What the? The house is falling! Yeah! What was that just now? Wh what's happening? Walking along the alley and heading toward the inn, a cloud of dust had rolled out and was covering the area's field of vision. Gradually, the smell of burnt gunpowder also covered the area. Are you kidding me? All of the room's curtains were closed. Within the dark room, I passed the time in the light of a lamp resting on the table. All done preparing for Japan. All that's left is for Midra to be brought to justice. <laughs> Sheena. Oh, Sheena. <laughs> How could they do something so awful? Not like this. Not like this. The cult has claimed this town for itself. For everyone in Japan. We must put an end to them. For Sheena. For my... And for every victim. <laughs> my? Strange, they're early. Okay, I'll be off. Oh, it's the cult. Oh shoot, I have to run. What? The follower, without speaking, had taken the dagger in his hand and suddenly stabbed my side. <coughs> my legs buckled from the sharp pain and lower body cramps, and I collapsed where I stood. Didn't think they'd go this far. It's like every one of them so far has been so naive. It's just like, what did you think would happen? <laughs> Stop! Stop! No. That's right. It wasn't just Midra. These guys as well, they also killed Sheena so cruelly. I let my guard down too much, you idiot. Man, and the others are in danger. What should I do? <laughs> can't stand. I'm going to be killed here. Can't go and protect those girls. Then, even a little. Not without a fight! I showed off the red cylinder I had taken from the man in the black outfit. Dynamite. <laughs> The black clove man panicked and tried to escape, but I crawled along the floor and grabbed on with a death grip. This ends now! I won't let you hurt them! My... Roddy... Lillian... I'm... I'm sorry... I gathered the last of my strength and lit the fuse of the dynamite. There can't be anyone in there, right? Broken wood and glass shards were scattered about everywhere. There was something else mixed in with the dirt, ash, and rubble. Something red, white, yellow, pink, and dark blue. And the stink of blood that hung over it. <gasps> D don't look! <laughs> it can't be! 
You three, get home! Children shouldn't be here! Let me go! Let go! Did you know them? I'm sorry, dear, but they didn't make it. Let me go! Let me go! In front of us was her corpse. Roddy, stay strong! Why? Why? Damn it! I'll make them pay! <laughs> <laughs>